Hello everybody and welcome to um, another one of our test videos. So I'm going to change the um, way we do these videos and some of them. So we get a lot of people saying, why can't we hear what's happening in the test? Well, we, we're not allowed to record what the examiner says, so it's all private. So we don't, we, we keep off our microphones there. But we can show you the test room and we can pick out, you know, some of the things that happen um, to look out for. So we've come out of the test center, we've gone left. So it's very common to get pulled up either side of the road when we're down here. You may get asked to pull up where it's safe, legal and convenient. So good tip is make sure you pick your place first before you check your mirrors and signal um, if you need to signal. Because the worst thing is that you think you're going to pull in somewhere, you give a signal, and then that's not the place because you think, oh my god, there's a driveway there or road opposite. So safe and convenient means look ahead and plan. And then again, pulling off, make sure that the blind spot. So this is where we're going to pick up the speed a bit. So we've gone left. Now we're heading up Waterloo Road. Oh, this is quick. Uh, and then I'm going to slide down when we come to the areas like here. I have to turn in right into Festival park so here's an issue that some people have there's a bay there where you obviously have to pull in and wait if there's any oncoming vehicles wait for oncoming vehicles so like i say one of the issues is here is having your back stuck out not being square so steer in and then steer away to get your back square so if you have a look here it, it's not so square the car it's a little bit out but obviously not enough to fail your test but it's a really good tip there to try and get your car as square as possible just means a traffic behind you can keep going and traffic in front has got plenty of room okay so heading now down to festival park um you've got this roundabout at the bottom here and it's i think it's like the morrison's roundabout so you can have a look here it's actually the one two three the third exit the fourth exit is going into morrison's uh sometimes i find um people get a little bit confused because they're told to go the third exit so if you haven't practiced this one it's very common it comes up quite a lot in your test so it's the first exit the curry's one that's the second one and then the third one down there i think sometimes people miss out the curry's one I think that's what happens okay so we're gonna shoot forward a bit here we've got the next roundabout here which is sort of the front of Morrison's but then we move on to this one which is the McDonald's roundabout very important here to think about your positioning so for instance on the roundabout what you need to do is you always pretty much gonna get straight ahead here is go more left like that can you see make sure you give a little signal here to come off all good uh, then coming down to this next roundabout, it's not so bad, it's just a mostly, in fact, I say mostly, I've pretty much only ever seen you go left here. So that's left down towards Festival um, Festival Park roundabout, the one under the flyover. But saying that, I think for the future, once that new road is open, there could be a lot of right going on here, to be honest with you. But at the moment, I've only really known um, left. But we'll see for the future. So this roundabout coming up, we're actually going to go right. Okay. Um, so if we have a look at the road markings here, because that's the one, the only one for right. Once you get on to the roundabout, you can see that now there's two going right so we stay in that one which puts us in the perfect position for coming off here okay so these are areas here just remember where there's two lanes going in the same direction it's much better to be in the left of the two some driving instructors say left is best all that kind of stuff um if you're in the right find yourself in the right once you've got good effective mirrors that's not the end of the world, but we, we're mostly trying to show you a very efficient, the best way of doing it. Okay, so we're coming up here. I believe we're going to go right at the um, Basford Bank roundabout. So as you look here, we're actually in the perfect lane 
to go right. Um, yeah. So this will be a good lane to go right. This roundabout can get pretty busy, but as long as you understand the road markings, um, it's not such a big problem. There we go, so the left lane goes off to Bathford. We're in the middle lane, and then once we've gone past this road here, we now become the outside part of the roundabout, easy to come off down the slip road. There is one more exit before the, um, the A500, and that's the gym. But it doesn't really affect us. We stay just there. Brilliant. Where we go, onto the A500. That's great, so they've done well getting on. Okay, so then we're gonna shoot straight forward here. Had a quick look at this earlier and it's um, we're coming off for Port Hill Roundabout, actually gonna go right to Port Hill Roundabout. So we've done like a little circuit at the moment, haven't we, like a little square. Okay, so the same thing, two lanes going in the same direction, we want to be in the left of the two. So at the moment there's only one lane going right, so we're in the, in the correct lane here. Um, it can be quite busy here, so very effective observation. But they've done well again, they've pulled forward, there you go. Oh, it's so difficult the road markings isn't it yeah so she's actually gone over to the right lane which is fine that puts us in that lane now because she's taken the middle one so this is all good and then you want to come off here so very well done this is when you go past the garage and then we're coming down to Wayne Walker's roundabout now Here's Wayne Walkers, we've gone left here, following down here. And we're coming into um, Tunstall, Tunstall High Street down here. So sometimes people get a little bit confused. I'll show you where on, on Tunstall High Street, there's a bend down here that kind of leads down to Asda's. So following the road ahead, he's just following the road markings. Um, and following it around. If you actually went down into Tunstall High Street and you give a signal left, that will be fine, that's the point there. But some people think following the road ahead is straight, but you've got to look at the road markings. Then we're coming down to this kind of roundabouts just near the Asda's here. Looks like we're gonna go right here, I should imagine, heading back to the test center. Yeah, following this road down into this car park, quite common to use this car park, drive into a bay, drive out, so very well done there. Um, and then we're coming out. Sometimes you might think, oh, we're going back to the test center, but here we're going right around some roads again, little small roads, little pull up there, pull away. And then I'm going to slow it down here. Many people miss this giveaway. Okay, there's roadworks here at the moment, but look, there is a giveaway. Make sure you look to your right on this one and then back to the test center all pretty good and a pass so remember lots of stuff there you are being tested on and um, you can see what you're being tested on but as long as you do your lessons and you understand and hopefully these these um little routes help you then all good okay so we hope you find this helpful and we'll be posting more shortly